might be when a sailboat sailing across the sea. Let's play Bernal and Holly. two very exciting changes in paper this morning. Um, we are finally going to be able to get rid of our very well loved schedule from the last 15 days and go on to our nice new piece of paper for the next uh, 10 days or however long it takes us to get there. Probably about 7 days hopefully. So. So we've been marking the paper map across the Atlantic at 8 o'clock in the morning and 8 o'clock at night every day. And today we get to turn the map over. We've gone past the crease. So we get to turn the map over and actually be able to see Caribbean islands. Very exciting. It's the small things. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Now that is an important mark. The first waypoint on the other side of the map. Ooh, We're almost yeah. there! In 1873 a lady and a gentleman lay down beneath me And looked up through my branches all green And pointed out the birds that keep me company He rode to his side, looked deep in the eyes The kind of stare that said I've got nothing to fear, nothing to hide Nothing to hide She had a silent reply As I washed on quietly With the clouds in the sky even the birds hung on her reply The time seemed to stop for a little while She returned his line of sight Strong as summer sunlight And gently brushed her fingertips On the back of his hand Feather light Feather light Feather light Feather light diary room. Uh, it is day 21 and we have um, ticked over well over um, two and a half thousand miles. I'm finding it extremely exciting. Yeah actually I'm loving it it's been fantastic. Best thing so far I reckon was uh, Wales. Making some good speeds I think last 24 hours we did uh, I was close to 200 miles so it's one of the biggest days it is the biggest day we've ever done on the boat. Polly's games Fishing's been amazing. The phosphorescence that follows the boat when the moon's not out. There's been a lot of amazing things. The sky, we've got the 360 of sea and a dome of beautiful sky and clouds. And at night you've got the stars. Stars, sunsets, yeah. sunrises. Sunsets and sunrises have been absolutely amazing. Sunsets. 
Amazing sunset, wow. And sunrises. Apart from the glorious sunset. The camaraderie between the art boats has been really nice. And the horizon is Infinity of Yar, uh, a boat that we've spent a lot of time traveling alongside of on the Magic Passage. We also, we've been doing the, uh, have been running a quiz on the VHF each night, which has been fun. The Interboat VHF quiz. 2,000 miles We are across all the ready, over. It is extremely exclusive. Okay, uh, here we go, first question. Question number one, for which sport is Eric Rizzo famous? Over. Bloody sport questions. Good morning, Infinity. How are you guys going? Plenty of waves, plenty of wind, um, plenty of rocking motion. Over. Yeah, I know how you feel. Yeah, running cereal right now and it's uh, a bit hard work. Over. Yeah, someone put these big waves in the ocean, didn't they? <laughs> Over. Bastards. I reckon uh, the hardest thing would be it's probably sailing into a low pressure system and knowing that we had to turn away before it got nastier than it already was. We were hoping to do 120 days but we had a really slow start, light winds, and then an upwind section with a low pressure system that came through. Um, the worst thing so far was getting hit in the face with a wet fish. <laughs> The hardest thing so far. The aggressive camera. How much the noise would get to me. It's just so noisy all the time. We're always yelling at each other and you're always asking everyone to repeat themselves and yeah, it's really starting to grate on me actually. Um, the surprising thing is how well I think we've all adapted and certainly me from a personal perspective to being out here, a long way from nowhere, you know, one and a half thousand nautical miles from the nearest land is, uh, I thought might be very daunting, mm -hmm. but uh, in fact you get into the routine of the boat and uh, it has been the last thing that's worried me, so that's a surprise. I thought I'd be a lot more freaked out when I sort of got out in the ocean, but I haven't been at all, it's actually been, I've been totally fine with it all. There haven't been any situations that I haven't felt like I haven't been in control or, you know, comfortable. So, yeah, that that has really surprised me. Not quite what I expected, but it's certainly been amazing. An amazing experience. As much as I'm excited to see the Caribbean, I kind of don't want it to end. I'm just, yeah, it's been beautiful. Yeah. I've loved it. started making a very interesting noise. Not the, not the noise on these batteries at all, but um, a high-pitched whirring noise. Uh, we just thought it might be the prop size, because we were going fairly quick. So we changed down the prop, a smaller prop, and um, we're still making the noise. So we pulled it out. I don't know if it's a vibration or something inside the actual device. Uh, fortunately we're only less than 300 miles out now so I think we'll leave it out of the out of the water for the rest of the trip. So we were down solar one week ago? Yeah solar panels can't get out to work anymore. I've uh, checked everything on that that I can. I think it's yet the converter box that's bulky now for some reason so we're down solar and now last night we're down our hydro so now we're down to diesel generation. Last sunset Last for the crossing. Sunset. Pretty good one. Unfortunately, there's no wind. We've still got a swell from the last few days. We've got the motors on. The spinnaker's come down about two hours ago. The motors came on and we are cruising straight at St. Lucia. About 80 miles to go. So close now. It's about quarter past five in the morning and we're 25 miles out. 
The wind has been nothing but a pain in the ass for the last 12 hours. It's flying our approach, but we can see the lights of the islands on the horizon. Sun is uh, rising on day 21 and a half into St. Lucia. Come on, Spinnaker. Wind's being fluky and light. Had about 11 12 knots for the last uh, couple of hours and we've just been moving along nicely. I'm looking at Martinique on my right and St. Lucia over on my left. And the microphone's on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's all on, guys. Okay, we're ready to focus. focused. And, and it's take focused. Two. Take two. Okay. Quick question, Claire. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what, what question do you have, Holly? I was just thinking, um, <laughs> what what word would you describe, like, to describe how you're feeling right now? Oh, let me think. <laughs> you know what? I think it's surreal. And it's almost like I've asked this answer this question before. <laughs> Do you, feel like deja you, vu. Know, do you feel like you've asked that question before? I've definitely thought it. Yeah. Yeah. Surreal would be the word.